Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel Juliet Kitchen. Yasmin here. Today you're in for a phenomenal and fantastic treat. I am sharing with you one of my special recipe and this one is for a chicken stew. This chicken stew is braised in a beautiful spice broth. It has some chickpeas, it has potatoes, it has carrots, it has some cinnamon, it has nutmeg, it has turmeric. All of those flavors come together super deliciously. The chicken is cooked until it falls off the bone. So what's better than that? It's the first of my uh, stew recipes in my series of stew and braised recipes. So I do hope that you love this recipe enough to come back for more. It is darn good. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, go right ahead and be generous. Click that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that bell so that you get notified whenever I upload and post a new video. So let me take you through how I make this incredibly delicious, super easy recipe. Okay, beautiful people. So the first thing that I want to do is season the chicken with salt and pepper. This is a five pound chicken or so that I purchased and I cut it up into um, portion size pieces. So um, you could either buy this in your store uh, cut up or you buy a whole one and cut it up. It doesn't take long. And then I'm just going to sprinkle salt and pepper on here. Give it a nice mix. For this amount of chicken, I'm using about three teaspoons uh, kosher salt and one teaspoon fresh ground black pepper. You can adjust that to your liking. Okay, my hands are all washed. The next thing I want to do is lightly dust the chicken parts in uh, all-purpose flour. I have about a cup here. Um, I probably won't use all of it. It's a light dusting. Dust off all the excess. You can use whole chicken for this because you get a little bit of every part of the chicken. Usually, you try to buy the parts, which you could do. Um, you end up with like way too many parts of, you know, drumstick or thighs, unless you could find a whole cut of chicken in the supermarket. I'm actually using the giblets parts of the chicken, the neck and the backbone I actually saved. I'm going to be making stocks with those, but the giblets I'm going to add it into the stew. My hands are all washed. Always wash your hand well when you're dealing with raw chicken or your poultry. For this recipe, I love, 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 love to use uh, ghee or clarified butter. And I'm going to add one, two, it just imparts so much more flavor and you don't get all the fat from the butter. The beautiful thing with using clarified butter, it has a higher smoke point so it tolerates the heat better than using butter. The other um, benefit of using clarified butter or ghee, it has a longer shelf life as opposed to butter. You really can't leave butter out for long periods on the shelf. So I just want these to um, heat up and I'm using a medium uh, temperature. I don't want the chicken uh, parts to uh, burn or get too brown, just a light golden color and it'll be ready. Okay, I'm looking for uh, the oil to be heated. You see some shimmer in the bottom of the pan when you look at it and the ghee or fat that you're using will start to kind of separate from the middle and that gives you a clue that the um, oil or fat is most likely uh, ready. So I'm going to start getting these in here. That should be able to fit quite a few. You don't want to overcrowd the pan, otherwise you'll release way too much liquid and the chicken parts really wouldn't get uh, much color at all. 
and I'm just going to let these cook for a probably a couple of minutes per side. The flour in this recipe, while it's just a dusting, it's also going to help to thicken the, um, the broth in the stew. It has some nice color here. A little bit. And if you notice, my chicken did not stick um, to the pan when I flipped it. One, you want to make sure the, the pan is hot enough, not overly hot. And then uh, if you do that well, it'll end up uh, flipping easily. Good enough for me. You could brown it a little bit more if you prefer, but it's really just to get a little bit of color. It's ready. I'm just going to uh, continue browning the rest of the chicken. I'm just going to turn off my stove. If you notice here, the color of my um, the fat is not this color, so it has a, a, a nice light color. Um, if it's too brown, just clean it up and start over fresh because you don't really want to, you know, use the very brown uh, oil if your chicken got too brown. Okay, I'm adding in here, uh, this is one uh, yellow onion. And my stove is actually still off. Okay, so I've turned back on my stove and I just want to cook my onions until they, they get uh, translucent in color. If it gets slightly um, brown on the edges, that's fine too. You know, what I really love about stew or braises is that they have so much flavor um, from all of the different ingredients and spices that, you know, goes into it. It smells amazing. I love the smell of onions. And now I'm going to add in my two favorite ingredients. Fresh thyme. This is about a tablespoon of fresh thyme. And this is actually about two tablespoons of fresh, finely minced garlic. It really makes a difference, but you could certainly adjust it to your liking. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I have some whole seeds here. Um, fennel is one of those um, underutilized uh, uh, spice, I would say. And then I have some uh, cumin, but I am going to add this in. We want to have those seeds cooked for a few seconds and bring out all that fragrance. Okay, the next spice that I have is uh, turmeric. This is about two teaspoons uh, turmeric and you'd say, well, who puts turmeric in a stew? Trust me, it works perfectly. And then I have some um, nutmeg. I'm using ground nutmeg uh, today, about quarter teaspoon, but usually I use fresh nutmeg, which works even better. This, you don't want to cook it too long once you add the dry um, ground spices because they will burn. Next, next up, I want to uh, add to about two tablespoons tomato paste. I'm going to cook this for a few minutes. I want uh, that to caramelize a little bit. So my tomato paste, this is organic tomato paste and I love it in the bottle because I could just cover it and then I end up putting it back into my freezer. And then I defrost it whenever I'm ready to eat it. So this is ready, you don't want it to burn. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. This is about three um, tomatoes on the vine. Usually I use plum tomato, but I had this in the house, so why not? It works just as good. I actually removed the seeds from them. I left the skin on, but if you're finicky, you could have the skin removed. I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes until uh, the tomato starts to break down. I have just a little bit, maybe a quarter cup of white wine, so I'm going to put this in here. You can put up to a half a cup. I'm just going to let this cook in. This helps to deglaze the pan smell all that beautiful flavor coming together and now we're going to add in i have some chopped car carrots here that's uh, you could say diced it's about two medium carrots you could put more or you could exclude it but i happen to think a little sweetness from the carrot goes a long way 
And then I have a can of chickpeas, or maybe two quarter can because I've been eating. Love chickpeas. I have here three um, russet tomatoes. These are pretty small that I uh, quartered. I left the skin on. If you prefer, you could remove the skin. And I had them sit in the water because I cut them a little bit earlier as I was prepping. Um, they will get oxidized if you don't uh, add them to water. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt to the veggies. It smells incredibly delicious in here. Okay, I think we are ready for the chicken. I need to go back in. I'm just gonna dump these all in here. Just give it a nice stir to coat the chicken parts with all of those beautiful veggies and the spices. Oops, I forgot one thing. The giblets. We just wanna dump these in here. Hands. Now I'm going to add in some chicken stock. You could add water, but I think the chicken stock adds, uh, you know, more flavor. I typically add about two cups, but at the end of the day with the stew, you want all of the meat to be pretty much covered, if you will. You know, the main difference usually, or one of the main differences between a stew and a braise is that the stew, uh, you add more uh, liquid to it, whereas the braise, you could uh, cover uh, the meat halfway off. It doesn't have to be covered all the way. Oops, I'm kind of messing my dress up here. Let's turn up the stove here. And just a bit more liquid. Two to three cups. need to do a tasting here. You also have to remember that this uh, stock is going to reduce so you don't want to over salty but I do think at this point I could use another half a teaspoon. Okay so the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to add two small bay leaves and a stick of thyme. This is about uh, two and a half inches, maybe three inches will be fine. The only thing is you have to remember to remove that, otherwise it'll end up in somebody's plate. But it's not the worst thing. Shame on them if they eat it. <laughs> so this has come to a boil. I'm going to cover this and reduce the heat and let it simmer until the chicken is tender. Pork tender, I should say. Beautiful people, I think the chicken should be just about ready. It smells like crazy good in here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's check the chicken. Wow. You see that? It comes right apart. That's really what you want. How beautiful is that? It's all done and it looks and smells amazing. Take that little piece that I removed. You could just really cut it uh, without needing a fork, and that's really the way stews should be. Wow. It is crazy good. Amazing. So, beautiful people, I do hope you enjoyed watching how I made this amazing amazing chicken stew come together with all these beautiful mediterranean spices so i do hope that you'll try it until next time keep cooking <laughs>